All right, Shalom Rasafari. Greetings. Ne Rasiadinos. Tefari. Wendem Yadom. Reporting for LOJ Society for the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. Now, now I begin to recognize even a little bit more of what Hawaria, um, of what Hawaria of Aulos, the great apostle, he called himself the apostle to the Gentiles because when he ministered, he used to be down with the Pharisees. You know what I mean? It's almost like I could say I was down with the Ayabingi, you know? Um, you could say some of the most, quote, extreme of the Judaic, the black Jewish um, um, leadership or the Rastafari, you know, um, uh, teaching. You know what I'm saying? Though some might think it's Bobo Shanti, but also agreeing with much of what they have um, preached and proclaimed. You know, this, and then as you begin to grow in the, the Gospels, you begin to grow in the Good News, the Wengel, or the teaching of His Majesty. As you submit yourself to, to hear what His Majesty says, and then to compare, well, what you believe or what you accept as true, based on what the teaching of the King of Kings, as you grow, as you're bringing the inward uh, conception, as it were, um, to, to the full term, you know or to the fullness, or, or to that birth. And then I recognize what Awadi Abalos, he said, he said something to, you know, one, one, um, one uh, sister, uh, actually a couple of, I think a brother also has said it too, they made a reference almost to I and I, like what I and I is doing is almost like what Paul did. And I, I can't, I, I'm not even to be compared with that great um, Hawaria, you know, and in my own eyes, on my own opinion, I don't, you know, but I do understand what they were seeing in that sense, and I'm even beginning to understand what Hawaria Paulos, right, or the Apostle Paul, yes, what the Apostle Paul, you know, what he was, uh, you know, what he was seeing as well, and, um, and saying, Moreover, what he was saying and how he was teaching is like, you know, there's, there's some this prophecy, you know, saying there's prophetic, there's revelation issues, there are um, um, uh, other it, there's many issues, many things going on. It's like when we look at the Ethiopian world uh, uh, net on the Facebook, and many of y'all and many ones and ones post of all sort of things out there, some of them very interesting, you know, look what I see on the internet, or look what just happened, or what, and so forth and so on, but um, sometimes it's not really in, in the focus of what this channel, and what this um, ministry, or what O-Net, you know, saying Ethiopian World Net, is, is really all about, and that's not to say, you know, this. There's no rule. We haven't set any rule that everyone wants to put this in. We don't like to do that because then it starts to um, go outside of the will of the King of Kings and his Christ. You know, was, now, when we're speaking churchically, you know, and we are ministering, we should maintain a, a particular focus in ministry. And that's what discipline is all about. So just as we would remind the disciples about their discipline, we also have to maintain um, discipline because it's maintaining good order. You understand? Good order. You know? And um, so, let's continue with the edification because edification means the building up. In fact, um, I don't know if we have that particular book here. I think we showed it before. There was a uh, Ethiopian uh, Wengelawit or evangelistic uh, booklet. Um, the picture used a kind of Eurocentric image, but the content was written all um, in Amharic, by Morinia. Um Yet the, the content was really right and exact. When I saw the cover of it, you know, the Eurocentric picture, I was like, oh man, Ethiopians doing this. You know, but then the Holy Spirit said, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, right? I said, okay, cool. I'm not going to judge the book by its cover. You know, could we all really understand how this has occurred? You know, but we started to look into the content. And the content was right on the money. In fact, there's not a translation of it. But 
there should be perhaps a translation, but some of what is, is, is written in there probably has been inspired by these Ethiopian Christians, um, these Wangeloi evangelical Christians from what's already in the English. And it had, uh, and it had a, a, a trinity. I think I showed you this image in the next video, a trinity. And then those arrows pointing to different areas. Um, I, I really should get that for this particular lesson right here. Um, if I don't get that for this particular lesson, then I will present that, and hopefully we'll get a translation of that, or we'll present a translation of that so ones can understand what's being said by Marinya. But we're going to call this one Selassie I and Man, and seek to focus on first things first. As we said, we began off in the previous um, in the previous vid, right, in the previous vid, speaking about the UCC, I and I Universal uh, uh, Church Code, called the Universal Church Code. Basically, it's I and I standing bylaws in this ministry, in this society, among this fellowship, as well as official, official order of business, right, the official order.